And I'm OG Pixel. I'm here with Fog. We have some spectacular Dota 2 coming your way. Well, that's when we see the ETs. You really start to go out of control in the laning phase when you get that extra oh. damage from your spirit as oh. Nisha. Damn. Yeah, bottom puppy did have to leave Nisha for a bit. He's heading to the jungle, and that will leave Nisha vulnerable enough for Alliance to claim the kill and get first blood. This time, the combo was there. We start to really see the strengths of the heroes tested. Bottom lane, another attempt onto Puppy. He's able to turn and get the Jewel Breath off, but Boxy's on top of him. A lot of damage. Turn, get another Fire Blast out. We'll be able to get the kill and separate himself from Nisha. Nisha now getting stunned up in fat Boxy. He's ready to go back in. He's got Arcane. Puppy's dead for five. They've got mana to go, but Alliance chasing down the Arc Warden. Nisha getting clobbered by Boxy as he slaps him down. They'll get both Alliance on this bottom lane. Tiger should fall for the efforts. But definitely a worthy play there from Alliance, getting both kills. She for mid one, being able to get that. She absolutely going for the wraparound. This time, as you say, he's going to be here to help out. But same thing to be said for Alliance. They've brought Insania in straight away. They've taken Nisha Damage. out of the lane. Yapsaw goes for the stomp. He's not going to hit anyone. They're able to easily kite it out. Try to defend. He hides in the tree line. He's TPing bottom. Let's have a look. See if I can slow this one down. It's going to look for the setup onto Boxy. Boxy's a tanky. Tanky Ogre, though, and Quake was already surrounding him. Puppy behind the tower. Now he'll turn back towards Zai. Zai uh -oh. getting nuked down. Zai's going to throw the boat out. As Zai, he's in a lot of trouble. We'll get the Rome upon him, but with the purifying flames, Zai's just straight up dead. They'll turn towards Puppy as well. The multicast is out. Quake with the double kill will die as he does sort of hang around in the macro pyre a little too long. Time that he's been off the map in this early. Early stages. We're well, going to see Koi for. He's going to have a little, little bit of a look into try for the 15 minute rune, but Secret, they've got the numbers here. Get the ice path down onto Koi for. Koi has got the back of Insania. They'll turn for the rune. Mike jumps in with a combo. He looks to burst down Zion. He's got it. Zion's dead. There's the false promise. Keep a quote for life. Stomps out from Yapsaw. Buyback as Mickey. well from Zion. They'll run down Mike. Mike's taken out. Koi He's going to take a fair bit of damage. We'll be able to heal back up. Can Insania save it? The fear, the fear comes in. Tiger with the save. Keep a quote for fine. Sending all four members back. From Secret. Very good at keeping an advantage and not making, you know, the questionable plays. Zai. You see Zai. He's been found. Easy pick off for Alliance. So now, he should just send an attempt as double. Certainly worth easily killing as well. Easy 240 for Mika. But yeah, you, you have to watch out for, for any mistakes now if you're Alliance. I as I say, they, they, they don't make mistakes. This is a refined team that is very good at closing up a one game. Mikke, Mikke, again. It's him with the jump. He's been able to toss him back. He's on top of Nisha. Nisha's dead again. He's dead. They just got Nisha like that. He stepped up way too He's far. He's having a rough game. That pressure in the lane. Oh, Puppy almost goes down to the trees. As they're just pushing in, they're onto the high ground. Alliance. They know exactly what they need to do this game. This is their timing to end it. As mid one, he goes in. He gives a poke. He has a BKB on now, too, but are available as well. But. He's gonna have to commit it here to charge Slone. They've already lost their melee rounds. See what mid one can do. He's gonna pop the BKB. He's trying to get on top of Quite for the book at the stomp out, but Quite was on the back of Insania. Quite for getting trapped back by the X Man. The boat's down. But the other well. does catch the four of them. It's a big one. Laos Yaps are running. Slap down Insania. Insania is dead. Jump back in from Mickey though. Comes in with the combo. Puppy lines down the ice path to block off Quite for a Mickey. Tiger's on the high ground. Another fire blast down onto Yapsaw. They'll turn towards Tiger. He's back. They'll get him out. They'll get the two of them. Alliance, can they get the rest of them out safely? Oh, Nisha's gonna have the Tempest double in place to spot out Mickey. Mickey goes straight for the TP out. Not able to cancel in time. And look at this, immediately they're already starting to they're starting to push that top lane. Mid one just goes Back for the in. racks. And they don't have TPs available. And he gets it. Okay. So this is this is how potentially Alliance could lose the game. Bottom lane, range racks are down. Can he catch him? He gets the toss back here, but there's a BKB available. The mid one is top of pressure. So they've got the combo out, straight away onto Quake, but Insania is there and he has got false promise if it's needed. It's going to hold on to the last minute, of course, doesn't want to use it too prematurely. That'll be the buyback from Puppy. Focusing their efforts immediately onto Zai. Can they burst him down? He'll get another X mark out, but they've got the crit swap. Zai's out, another buyback from Secret. They got Quake, Quake for Wolf Fall. They get the stuff out, the combo's there from Yapsaw. He lines it up perfectly. Insania's beat down. The rest of Alliance, can they retreat? Mikke's going to turn, start tossing the trees out. Won't be enough to kill off Nisha. Nisha's able to stay alive. Boxy's being focused. Mid one with the BKBs on top of the Ogre. Tiger's trying to hide in the trees, but Secret, they uh -oh. found them as well, as this time Alliance will not be getting out alive. Weird mystical orb. These new items, you know, new items confirmed. The push with this level three exorcism. You see, mid one, he's trying to push out that mid lane as far as possible, but Mickey's there with response and he has the bots. Let's see how if Alliance can get away with this this time. Finish off the tier three tower, quite for now, focusing towards the racks. Boxy gets the good multicast out onto Puppy. Puppy is in trouble. 
And he's dead. The Ghost will finish him off. They get the Jakira, and that is, of course, Puppy dead for a long time after that buyback on the last events. Quake for now false promise. Insania trying to keep him safe. Who yields up to dodge the boat. Midborn trying to focus down onto Insania. Will get it. Insania's dead. Midborn's BKB wears off as he'll now back away himself. Quite for BKB is up and ready to go. They okay, turn the curse need. crown. The fire blast. They've got the focus. Zai. He's dead without buyback as well. So is Yapso. Three dead on secret with no way back into the game. Nisha's in trouble. Oh Elytra God. on top of the Nisha's dead for 50. He has got buyback. But still three members that do not. Midborn getting tossed up in the trees by Mickey. Alliance. In this game one, he's just forced to buy back when his timer is pretty low just to try to stop this mega creep push. Alliance able to make sure the secret don't get the opportunity to, to grab that Aegis, at least for now. They're trying to do the poke thing onto Koifa, but there's that Oracle just constantly throwing those. Look at this horse back here. Big K's able to get in, grab Zai. Zai's up on top of Boxy, and Zai's there's dead. No Zai. Another catch successfully performed by Mickey. It's Nisha. He's going to send the double, and Sanya, quick reactions there as he instantly false promises himself. Koifa will move in, take out the Tempest double. Puppy low. laying down the Macro Pyre. They've got the combo as well onto Insania, but Insania's still alive. Koifa, using up, be able to burn down Puppy with the Ghost. Puppy's dead, Midborn tries to go towards Koifa with the BKB, but the multi cast come out. Boxy's got the control, Koifa finally falls. Boxy turns, he's turning for more. He's trying to control Midborn, but Midborn's already cleaned up. Mickey Mickey's dead for 107. There'll be buybacks coming out from both Koifa and Insania. But Mib1 was able to get the big kills there, the big cleanup, as the Spider did prove to be too much in that fight for Alliance to deal with. Can find Koifa, able to get himself into the shadows quickly. Mib1. To avoid the... No, he's going to look to turn around and help out. Realize that Boxy is pretty isolated, but Boxy does have the BKB. Starts to get the multicast out onto Mib1. Koifa's zoning them away here with this exorcism. They are split up apart here. Mib1, he's trying to go for the backliners, and he's found. He's able to get him with the Hex onto Insania. That is Insania dead for 70 without the buyback. He'll now sweep back over to help the rest of his team. Looking towards Koifa. Koifa's got the BKB popped. He'll leave Koifa alone for now. But still some good right click being done by Nisha with the Tempest double. Zai continue to juke him out. Zai finally falls. They get the Kunka, but Zai has buyback. He'll buy back straight away. Mid one, he can look to try and punish these vulnerable targets now that the BKBs have worn off on the course, particularly Koifa. Koifa will have the Ghost Heal coming in soon. Is it going to be enough to keep Koifa. him separate? Yapsol with the slaps. The BKB on the other side. He's able to finish him off. Another Hex from Mid one. He's able to lock down a second. Uh -oh. Boxy's dead as well. They turn towards Mickey. Mickey tries to the trees, but Mip1 jukes it out, back in oh he goes, God. godlike with the double kill, Mip1 getting the kills and playing the fight perfectly, Tiger is also going to die, a secret, get the triple kill, Mip1, oh. he really did it there, you saw, you know, he let the rest of his team go to work, he was like, right boys, I'm finding that, Dude. I'm finding that oracle, Misha I'm didn't get hit once in that entire fight in the river, he literally just was sitting there casting everything. Look, 12 spark and breaks, 5 hit. magnetic fields. They have got their buybacks. Oh my and god. And they are going to need to use them, Alliance. As that the mid lane's getting poked at Boxy. He's going to try and commit. Pops the BKB. They're just taking down the towers. There's, they have to buy back You've on everyone. They've got to buy back on everyone. This is Secret going for the GG push here. Straight away, they'll turn towards Yapso. Yapso getting stunned up the Avalanche as well. Yapso's dead. Secret just trying to bail here now as they Alliance, force every they, single buyback. They've got to try and catch more here. See Zai. if they can find Zai Zai. He's able to juke it out into the trees, trying for the TP, but Boxy's got the vision. They'll stun him up, but Mib1, he's going to come over and start to help maybe. Boxy he's has not got the BKB, but indeed the curse crowd is going to hit the two of the Mib1. He walked into it, but he has the BKB. Goes into the trees, BKB TP out, will keep himself. Zai, of course, still alive. Finally, Mickey will jump in to clean him up. Zai now the one to be dead. He's got 8,000 gold. I mean, at the least right, you're in the base. You buy the recipe for the Ags, you swallow it up as the brood, and you pick yourself another item, right? If you're... He's just saving for the buyback. That's probably the first but he's got main enough. thing that's focused on his head, though, he's right? Got to, surely, you're in base, upgrade the Ags, buy yourself a sick fire. He's got 8,000 gold. you got to spend it right. It's, I mean, he's... It's chaos, the moment. I guess this it, is chaos. It is chaos. It is chaos. <laughs> at the moment, with his teams as Alliance. Hard committing here to try and finish off this final set of racks in the middle lane. And they'll get it. They'll get the melee. They'll turn towards the range with the ghost still out. Puppy's going to leave for Curse Crown's out. Boxy pots the BKB. They'll get the final racks. They'll get the Mega Creeps. Now they've got to make sure that they don't have any casualties. Jump in. Tiger. He's on Mid top one. of Mid one. Mid the side. Mid one's dead. They'll get the kill. There's the buyback from the spider. Mid one straight back in. See if they can chase down these kills and lions. Tiger has fallen. Alliance, they may have got Megas, but they cannot afford to die. They don't have buybacks. Quite uh -oh. has gone. They're chasing for more. Secret. They've found Insania. Insania's hexed up. They may have got the oh Megas, but that's two heroes dead for over 
80 seconds. You see the Desolator bought by Nisha. They're ready. I, They're ready to push. Buy an Necro book mid one. Get something else for the push. He's got to buy something. Look at this Nisha with that Deso. They're looking to end it too. The, I mean, they know. It's not available. Two, uh, Secret's got it, right? They, they, they got to put a H lot of pressure on. Where's the creeps at? Mickey's looking to just keep cutting them here. He walks behind that mid mid creep wave and he does have to get it, but the damage they, is coming through. It's too they've much. They've got it. They've got it. Oh Secret has got it. God. It's over. Holy God. So as we're saying, our job is easy game for Secret as what? we're saying. Alliance, oh what God. a fight they put up. And game one of TI9 group stages has technically a yeah. mega creep comeback. Oh, it was. Right? No, absolutely. It's it, technically it, a mega creep it, comeback. It in the mid lane as a gyro, with your base damage, you're you're not going to get to hit a lot of creeps, right? Yeah. Against uh, if it is going to be the lone druid going mid, which you would imagine. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how Anish can do here already. Puppy. He's looking dead. It's been found out. Tiger's able to trap him with the brambles, and that's first blood for Boxy. There's still a pretty strong try lane here coming out from Alliance. So it's a little bit weird. A bit of a go onto Mickey with the cold snap. Nice to the land torrent. the torrent. I'll bring a hit too, and Mickey. They actually get him with that. Wow. They actually got, they have to connect that torrent there in order that to get was, that kill. Yeah, they had to hit everything and they did secret. Bring a root off, but Nisha. He's got uh -oh. enough stats to sort of hold his ground and then deep with his wrap round from Zai. Quaifa. In a whole world of trouble. Dunk down from Zai and Quaifa's punish for trying to poke at the gyrocopter. He's gonna be problematic. Yeah, they also have they have the axe versus the troll is the other matchup they do have. So troll, you have battle trends. If axe gets a good start off, he's always gonna be able to get those successful dunks. Has to control the cold snap and the rocket barrage. Ooh. Tornado up up the end. It, it wasn't okay. quite the combo with the <laughs> missile, but it gets the kill. They have level six. They're not level six on Tyga still. The Willow's still not quite there. One kill will do it though. One kill will do it. You got a kill to start things off. Well, will one kill is going to be yeah, a CM, and it is. There you go. One kill does it. Tiger's now hit level six. There's the fear straight out of two of them. Now moving the combo. The sun rays out as well. Mikhail on the mana. They've got the shrine to fight around. The Boxy trying to head towards it, but the pull from the Berserker's call grabs him away. They'll turn towards the sun. Secret, they'll kill off Insana as well. The buyback coming out from Boxy. He wants to get stuck back in and help out the team, and it will allow them to get mid one. They should have a good chance of getting Nisha as well, actually, with that play. And straight away, first hit route from Koipa comes in. Alliance will be able to overall punish Secret for those deep kills. Gotta get that Radiance, and he's, doesn't, he's not really that close to it still. Well, he, he might be able to the TP. He can. Finds Koipa trying to TP out in the trees. Koipa is dead. But he's still a ways away. They're trying to do all they can to slow this down. Looks like the Genzai is able to jump in. That was real close for Insidia. Just getting out with that dive in time. Looked like that call almost caught him. Okay, he is positioned here to go for some of the wrap runs. I still full HP though. Okay. Just be careful how he pokes. Of course, without that BKB Nisha now, starting to move it towards the pair. Zai is able to get on the back line, able to actually dunk down Insania. Now he turns as well towards Mikke. Mikke is in trouble, he's out of mana, he's out of health. That's Mikke dead too, a buyback comes out from Insania. A secret again, just getting kill after kill. They tried to get a wraparound there to protect, but Yapsor actually got the Spirit Vessel onto Boxy oh. before he got a blink off, so he was interrupted the whole fight there. And now Zai's not only got a full Crimson Guard, he's got a full pipe as oh well. Zai jumping in onto Boxy. So damage. Koifa's trying to hit back with the bear, but this 21 minutes pipe Crimson Act is almost impossible for for Alliance to deal with. They just run down Boxy. Boxy has to buy back. The Rack's in the middle lane in trouble. A secret 11k lead. The egg comes out. Secret will look to try and take it down. They can't killed. quite get it in time. They're being forced back. The supernova successful. They pop the Aegis on Nisha. Now oh the Sunray down. They're burning mid one. They're burning side. A tornado comes out from Yap. So the whole back alliance. Secret still all stay alive. Now they can go back in. Zai jumps in with the call onto Quite, but Quite was dead. Mickey falls as well. Boxy's surrounded. EMP's out. Four dead on Alliance. GG is caught, and Secret will take game two. 21 minutes in, 15k lead, and this, this is I think sort of the, the type of game Secret themselves expected to play coming into TI. Yeah, this was a ridiculous display actually. The Invoker ended up working out perfectly.